Charles here. With a woman long enough, eventually I'll try to fuck her in the ass. That's the way it's going. I love you. Yeah, how much? You want to try something new? What? Have a drink, I'll tell you about it. Every time I drink with you, my ass hurts. <laughs> Maybe your iron low. You ever think about that? <laughs> then they do what's called a PSA test, which is a prostate specific antigen test. The doctor said everything felt okay. I don't anticipate any problems. If they are, I'll call you. That motherfucker called me early the next morning. I don't want to alarm you. <laughs> motherfucker, you just did. <laughs> but your number came back abnormally high. I need you to see a urologist. At this point, I freak out. So my wife takes over. The urologist is an expert. What fuck that is it's very small. Uh, <laughs> Two days in a row of this shit, I'm gonna be chapped. Miss <laughs> Hughley, you have to come in, we have to check you out for prostate cancer. I heard that shit, I don't wanna go. So my wife You have to go, you have a family. So I've gone to the doctor and said the only way to rule out prostate cancer you have to have a biopsy. And I had never heard of that. My wife, you don't know what a biopsy is. <laughs> the fuck you go to medical school. <laughs> Why don't you get a job at a hospital? Don't get these goddamn bills. Mr. Hugh was gonna have to cut some pieces of the prostate. I was sitting to the lab for diagnosis. I was scared, so I started asking questions. I said, "You going in through the back?" <laughs> no, we have to go in through your penis. Oh. No, you're not. <laughs> he said, "It's okay. You can be awake, motherfucker. If I'm awake, you won't be. <laughs> you ain't gonna touch my dick and keep your teeth." <laughs> Natural reaction will be while well, you got my dick in your hand. <laughs> so I let him do it and it hurts, but the worst part is not even the pain, it's waiting for the results. You ever have to wait for the fucking results? And the doctor always calls you, the nurse calls you with her cryptic ass. The results are right. <laughs> Bitch, you need to perk up. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> what do they say? I'm not at liberty to What the fuck is you call me for? <laughs> the doctor, he won't talk about it on the phone, so I go up to the doctor, my wife, we're going to the doctor as a family. And my wife go to church all the time. I don't go to church because that cover charge hiding a motherfucker. <laughs> so we get down there, the doctor said, you don't have prostate cancer, what you have is a condition called prostatitis. And my wife, oh my God, what is that? When they get bladder infections, been time they get prostate infection. The first question she asked, I'll never forget it, is he going to die? <laughs> No, just 12 weeks of antibiotics, it'd be fine. So my wife sends my children out of the room. As soon as they were out of the earshot, this holy sanctified woman turned to the doctor and said out loud, How did this motherfucker get it? This <laughs> <laughs> prostatitis, I'm gonna get it from a prostitute. <laughs> and what's fun, I passed out, oh, my prostatitis is hurting. Explain you can get it from bacteria that trapped through your urethra, you can get it from stress, and she breaks out, can you get it from fucking another bitch? <laughs> and I pass out again, oh my god. I can't keep my eyes open. Prostate guys gonna be driving my iron down. She'll be driving home, she don't say nothing for a long time. She drops the kids off, she said, I'm glad you're alright, but I realize you don't have life insurance. I'm like, what the fuck do I need life insurance? <laughs> What will happen to us if something happens to you? Well, I guess you motherfuckers will get jobs. Huh? <laughs> if I'm going, the good time's over. It's time to hustle. Get to it. Why don't you take a couple of these clothes off the fireplace and fuck that dude for you? <laughs> get this straight. In the event that I die, you want me to leave you millions of dollars. You can bury another motherfucker. <laughs> Y'all spend my money together. <laughs> No deal. <laughs> Whatever you don't get while I'm here, you ain't getting it. If I die early, I want shit to go wrong. <laughs> <laughs> they will appreciate me then, won't they? <laughs> when daddy was alive, we used to eat every day. <laughs> I haven't had ice cream in so long. <laughs> this helmet don't even fit no more. <laughs> So we get life insurance, and I get life insurance, then she get mad, she said, you didn't get life insurance on me. I said, well, baby, you don't work. That don't mean I don't contribute to this family. What would happen to you guys if something would have happened to me? <laughs> we gonna be sad. <laughs> we gonna
gonna have to move or no shit like that. Kids just gonna get a 24 year old stepmother. That's the fuck on. <laughs> she got mad. You would actually marry a 24 year old? Yep. <laughs> so I suggest you don't go no goddamn. What would you talk to a 24 year old about? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> They love a man that can make them laugh. You can make a woman laugh. You can have any woman you want. You can. Men are me. Cook me some breakfast, bitch. You never make me laugh anymore. Cook me some breakfast, bitch. Ha ha. <laughs> Don't try that at home. I'm just fucking around. You ever notice women go out with you even when they don't want like you? If you promise to take them to get something to eat, they will go out. <laughs> people made me so proud. 